With its roulette wheels and blackjack dealers, it may look like any other casino. But what makes Macau different is the punters. Over the past decade, the city's fortunes have risen and fallen on the whims of a small group of Chinese high rollers. But now, under pressure from Beijing, Macau's casinos are trying to wean themselves off this lucrative but volatile cash flow. MGM is the latest casino operator to make a multi-billion dollar bet on Macau's future. Glitzy gambling palaces like the one behind me are designed to bring a bit of Vegas shimmer to the city and help attract a new generation of mass market punters. The mass market, which uh, is far more sustainable, uh, more predictable, uh, is the market that most operators are focused on right now, particularly the premium mass. The VIP business is almost impossible to predict and will, I think, forever be quite volatile. After a decade of rapid growth, taking slumped when President Xi Jinping came to power and launched an anti-corruption campaign. Now, revenue is growing again amid a wider recovery in China's luxury goods industry. In the only part of China where casinos are legal, survival is about more than profits. With all the casino licenses up for renewal from 2020, operators need to show Beijing that they're helping turn Macau into a broader-based tourism destination, not just drinking from the VIP tap once again. The government has been crystal clear. And for those who have not listened, uh, it'll be to their peril. With around $20 billion invested in resorts over the past few years, the casino operators have attracted more mass market customers. New restaurants, bars and theme park rides may please Beijing, but they haven't had much impact on the bottom line. The vast majority of profits still come from gambling. So while Las Vegas gets half of its revenues from shows, sports and conferences, Macau remains very much about the baccarat table. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Macau.